NBA. You know what? Can I put you on the spot for a first question? Go ahead, man. Mount Rushmore of the Kansas Jayhawks. Ooh. If you had to pick four, four could you do guys. it? <laughs> ba basketball, obviously. Okay. We gotta go with Will. We gotta go Will. We gotta go Danny Manning. We gotta go Embiid. Like that? Ooh wee, man. So many great guys. But I'm gonna pick one for my team. I'm gonna go with Mario Thomas for that shot to hit. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like yeah, it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's my roommate too, so I got I gotta go with my guy. <laughs> All right, and I gotta ask you about Nicola, man. Yeah. S seeing him come up and just you know become the MVP of the league and just his rise. What have you made of everything? Man, he's the same the same guy he was as a rookie. Uh, humble, quiet kid. Same guy he is today, you know, same humble, same quiet kid, doesn't expect much. Um, great guy, easy to talk to, you know, not high maintenance guy. You know, you know, he doesn't need a lot to make him happy. All he needs is family, his horses, he's been <laughs> basketball, and he's good, man. Like, just a special talent, man, like generational talent. Like, I've never seen a, a big that can pass the ball the way he does. When I ask him questions about offense, he's like telling me two, three things that's like steps ahead of like, you know, the actual play that's going on. So he's very smart when it comes to basketball and he's, uh, it's great to like pick his brain from time to time. When did you know, when did you realize like, holy smokes that this guy can, it, cause I mean, it, it, the first couple of years it was, he was, he was on the bench and, you know, he had to yeah. earn his minutes and everything. But when did you know? <laughs> I knew right away actually, like uh, Jameer, um, we did some stuff before the season started where like Jameer threw some stuff at his house and uh, had like a basketball court and stuff set up and we did like um, basically like some team building, team chemistry type stuff. We did like uh, paintballing, um, did like some dodgeball stuff and we also hooped and the first time I seen him hoop, the guy man like was making crazy plays but he wasn't trying to score but he had like position to where he could score and I'm like bro you got to score that. And like, he came in for a training camp and I'm telling like the GM, like, bro, this dude is nice. Like he's gonna be good, bro. And I think they were gonna send him back to Serbia, you know, to like develop and stuff. I'm like, nah, y'all can't send him back. He gotta play, you know, he gotta, he gotta play. And since we kept him every year, he got better and better and better. Like last year, 2,500 points, 1,000 rebounds, 1,000, I mean, you know, 500 assists, something crazy like that. Like insane, bro, like <laughs> insane talent. Like i never seen a guy that can play like, like I play with like good bigs too. Like I play with Marcus Gasol, I play with like Zach Randolph, like great bigs, like I play with Nurk. Like this guy is just on another level, man. Can any part of you fathom the possibility of a three-peat of MVPs? <laughs> I mean, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Um, I can see it for sure. I can see it for sure. But to touch like the numbers that he touched last year would be insane. If he, if he beat those numbers this year, bro, I, I would be like in shock. But I can see it. Uh, it's a lot of great players. Like y'all got one, Luca. Like he's great. You know, uh, Giannis, great. Embiid, great. You know, and, like the foreign basketball players are actually taking over right now. Like the last four years has been like you know foreign MVP. So. I think that's great for basketball. I think it's great. I agree with you. I agree with you. And and you brought him up. I, I got to get your impressions of just the rise of Luca as well. What if, as as a Dallas guy, what have you made of that as well? So you know, me and uh, Anthony Randolph, both Dallas kids, and he played in Madrid with Luca. So I've I've seen Luca play like overseas. And Anthony was telling me it was like this kid is gonna be like the next like big thing coming in the league. So I started to play clo close attention to him, started to tell my friends about like, hey, Luca Dunch, he's coming in. They was like, I don't know who that is. I bet they know who it is now. Like, dude is great. Like, I was watching him, like, I watch, usually watch the road games in the back. And just watching this guy, like, pick us apart, man, was like insane. Like, we're sending so much, like, you know, different stuff at him. And he's just, like, picking us apart. It doesn't matter, like, what you do. Like, he's going to find a way to score and get his team involved. So he's, I think he's gonna be like, you know, the face of the league in like the next year or two, bro. For sure, for sure, yeah. <laughs> I like that, I like yeah. that. Yeah. And I gotta ask you about DFW Hoops. You know, you, you, you obviously came up in a great era of DFW Hoops, and as well, there's a new era right now, you know, with the, the Tyrese Max season yeah. and whatnot. What do you think of just the, uh, your era, but also the come up of the new guys right now? Oh man, the new guys for sure is, uh, I think they got a kid in Duncanville that's really good. And was it Lake Highlands? 
is it a kid out of Lake Highlands that's, that's supposed to be like top, like a top kid in, uh, from McDonald's. I haven't really paid attention to it as much as I should be, but man, my era was insane. Like, I remember playing at uh, T.W. Brown, eighth grade, and going back to watch, like leaving my game, going straight to, you know, the gym to go watch Chris Bosh, Brian Hopkins, Byron Eaton, Bracey Wright, Darren Williams, um, AC Law, bro, like LaMarcus Aldridge, Donald Sloan's like, bro, it, it, it was insane like to, to watch those guys and to play against some of those guys. And it just built like who I am today. Like um, I feel like the, the game back then was like super intense, super competitive. We wanted to kick each other's asses. Like it was, it was a great era, bro, to like just be born in and, and to play in. And um, I'm very grateful to like, you know, be a part of that. I love that. I love that. And um, I got to ask you, too, while I got you, Carmelo Anthony, what, what, do you, what do you think of, you know, just what his legacy will be in the game as, you know, a legendary Denver Nugget as well? Yeah, I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer, bro. Like, from what he did from college to what he did in the league, like, you know, coming in and getting drafted, putting Denver on the map and putting him in the playoffs every year he was there, man, is, um, you know, a great accomplishment. Um, I, w I want to see him win a ring, you know. I want to see him get that ring, but he's a great player, bro. I always looked up to Melo. Definitely a tough guard. I had to guard him a few times and didn't look forward to it. Uh, big body, quick, athletic, can shoot it. Like, I mean, like, dude was, like, unstoppable, like, in his prime. So, um, you know, all the respect to Carmelo, man. Like, yeah, I have big respect for him. All right, last one for you. Um, just, just the outlook for these Denver Nuggets. What, 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 what do you make of the squad right now? What, what do you like? Um, obviously, Jamal is back. Got some young kids in the mix. Nicola's an MVP. What do you think? Um, you know, we're in a tough Western Conference, bro. Like, but I think when we're healthy, I think anything can happen. I think we can come out the. I think we can come out the West. I think a few teams can. Um, you know, if they're playing right at the time, but. Um, just getting, you know, Jamal back, MPJ back, adding pieces like Bruce Brown, KCP to the team has been great. And we just have to build on our chemistry and uh, camaraderie and try to bring things together. All right, DA, really appreciate it, man. Yeah, appreciate it, bro.